In the email services section, you will see settings associated with sending and receiving emails, forwarding and connecting domain services. To set up a forwarding and reply address, we're going to click on this reply and forward settings button. Here you can set up a forwarding address to receive where you would like incoming emails to be forwarded. You will receive the email replies not only in the conversation view, but also in your personal email inbox. When you reply to the leads email in your inbox outside of the CRM, you will not see your reply back in the CRM. So here you can fill in the forwarding address. And then here you can type in the BCC email addresses if you would like. This is going to copy this is going to send blind copies to every email that goes out from that location. And if you would like to forward to an assigned user, you can toggle this on and select the user. Once you fill that in, you can click on the blue save button. And then here you can enter a reply address. This will be added to all emails that get sent out. And note that reply conversations cannot be tracked in the CRM and will not be viewed in the conversation thread. So you can fill in a reply address here and then make sure that you hit the save button. We're going to go back over to the SMTP service tab. Here you can select the default email service provider in case you have multiple email providers connected to the SMTP like we do have here. So you can select by clicking on the checkboxes here. Note that all new accounts will by default use Lead Connector, but a third party SMTP provider can be integrated at any time. If you would like to edit any of these, you just simply click on the edit button here. Here you can configure your SMTP provider such as Send in Blue, G Suite, or Microsoft Outlook. The SMTP provider you can select from this drop down. And then the username. And then for SendGrid, you will fill in the username, email, and password. If you're selecting Gmail, you will fill in the email and password. Same thing here for Yahoo Mail, you'll fill in your email and password. And then with other option, you will fill in the provider name, the SMTP server, the SMTP port number, username, email, and password. If you would like to delete a provider, you can click on the delete button. Note that once you delete this, it will be gone forever and you'll have to reintegrate it to re-add it. If you'd like to add a service, you can click this add service button here. This will take you at an option to select your SMTP provider from the dropdown. And then once you have your selection chosen and you fill out the details, just make sure to hit the save button here and you will see that listed in your default provider option box.